This would be a very short introduction of myself. Siyempre, bago po tayo uh, magpatuloy sa ating maikling kwentuhan, ay ipapakilala ko po muna ang aking sarili. So, just a brief background po ng uh, aking naging uh, practice no? and my experience from vet school until naging professional licensed veterinarian tayo. I graduated from Jones Rural School in 2004, major in animal science. I was blessed to be accepted in UPLB for the program Doctor of Veterinary Medicine in the year 2004. So the first semester po sobrang hirap kasi uh, it took a lot of courage to survive. Una yung culture shock. And more importantly, yung homesickness. Kasi first sum break ko, pinuntahan ko agad yung lola ko na nakatira sa family house uh, at that time. At uh, pumunta rin po ako sa barrio, pinuntahan ko rin yung family house ng mama ko. At uh, dito nga po sa picture na to ay uh, makikita ninyo na ako ay nakasakay sa kabayo ng uh, uh, kapatid ng lola ko, no? So, ayun, uh, after my first SEM break, uh, ako po ay bumalik sa Los Baños at uh, sa tingin ko ay mas malakas na yung loob ko at sa tingin ko naman ay magsusurvive ako sa new environment. To cut the story short, yes, um, sumali ako, pasaway, <laughs> uh, old freshman naman po, sumali ako ng organization and there I met new friends and family. So, uh, doon ko rin nakilala ang uh, sports ko ngayon na rodeo. So, thank you po sa mga naging mentors ko sa rodeo. So, nagkaroon ako ng tambayan kasi member na nga po ako ng organization which is RC bago pa ako naging proper, <laughs> vet proper. Masaya yung first uh, year ko as a vet proper student but um, nung naging second year proper na, ito na po ang pinakamahirap na uh, year level no sa veterinary medicine proper. Meron akong dalawang kaibigan na nakasama ko sa aking mga uh, adventures, mga pagsubok. Nung second year proper ako, as in, naging super classmates kami kasi kami po ay nag na mag-overload. I think, hindi ko na matandaan, siguro 23 units nag-overload kami kasi gusto namin uh, makagraduate on time. So, sa akin, on my case, kasi maliban sa overload subjects, ako po ay uh, membro din ng executive committee ng aming organisasyon. So, everything happens for a reason. So, yung second year ko na po yun, ay uh, madami tayong iyak <laughs> na naibuhos sa Adoration Chapel ng St. Therese. So, yun na yung naging puntahan ko at that year and um, ang dami kong failures so uh, doon uh, nanalangin umiyak pero I trusted God that um, you know meron siyang plano para sa akin so I kept going most all of my summers since I started college were spent on summer classes the only summer I did not enroll was year 2009. So, medyo maluwag ako nun. So, hindi ko na, na-delay na, na ako eh. So, that was the summer na bago ako maging clinician. So, I decided to spend it on hands-on experience or training. So, isa nga po sa mga um, naging experience ko is yung OJT sa DA, uh, Isabella Experimental Station, at ako ay uh, nag-undergo ng small ruminant management training. Being a clinician, I was exposed to uh, different clinical duties and uh, mostly in the teaching hospitals, of course under UP, there we handled mostly pets or small animals as we call it. Yung dogs, cats, rabbits, minsan may turtles na dinadala. So, birds, ganon. Nagkaroon din po kami ng equine duty. Here, um, nasubukan po nating magpaligo ng mga kabayo, uh, mag-walking um, of ponies, no? At syempre, tinuruan din tayo mag-blood collection, uh, mag-administer ng drugs sa kabayo, 
also um, we were given a chance no na yung actual talaga na trabaho ng vet na experience natin and yung um, assisted foaling yun yung hindi ko makakalimutan na ginawa namin sa Batangas next is sa uh, wildlife duty no we worked with different practitioners in the field and we were lucky to be uh, mentored by uh, Mr. Daniel Bennett rest in peace sir so dito sa picture na to um, tinuturuan niyo yung team namin uh, sa identification of varanus species no so maliban doon uh, we also spent time sa wildlife rescue center sa Quezon City so there we had surgeries uh, feeding and necropsy of wild animals Ayun. and then we also had uh, clinical duties sa ADDL or Animal Disease Diagnostic Laboratory so doon syempre lab works no mostly uh, blood works mga cytology uh, depende sa sample na sinasubmit sa amin sa lab um, minsan may mga necropsy din or gross and microscopic examinations of the samples submitted to us. Okay? So, as for my thesis naman po, um, ito po ay tungkol sa uh, hematological and physiological as well as uh, fecalysis of sheep herd in UPCVM Tabon Station. Uh, we identified uh, the approximate age of animals by dentition, each animal, okay? And then they, uh, I took the temperature, heart rate, and respiratory rate, and also we collected uh, blood and fecal samples, you know, which I processed uh, in the laboratory. It was physically, mentally, <laughs> emotionally, and uh, financially challenging for me and my parents. But um, all of the hard works paid off when we received the best undergraduate thesis unfortunately they forgot to give the award during our graduation ceremony so sadly my parents missed that moment for my undergraduate specialization uh, i chose veterinary diagnostics with diagnos headed by uh, dr aya torres so at that time the diagnos lab was i think uh, if i'm not mistaken was the Southeast Asian Regional Laboratory of HIPRA, uh, a vaccine company. So, the team taught me how to perform ELISA, PCR, and microworks. So, that was my fair share of undergrad specialization. After all of those um, exams, you know, thesis, um, clinical presentations and um, specialization by God's grace I graduated in UPLB year 2011 earning the degree for seven long years well um, I would say it was fruitful so vet school is not easy but it is doable four months after graduation by God's grace I passed the licensure exam we lift it all up to God. Okay, so thank you Lord for all the blessings. <laughs> Nagpahinga po ako uh, ng ilang months before I started my job. I think it was, my first job was February 2012, you know. And I started as a university researcher in UPLB Biotech under the vaccine lab, which was somehow related to my undergrad specialization. So, they welcomed us with open arms and they supported us as well. Unfortunately, I think at that time, I wanted to do something that is more related to being a vet. I had to give it up and um, I reached out to Dr. Milson Donato and to cut the story short po, I worked with Vets in Practice or VIP in Mandaluyong which um, at that time is, and until now, no, I believe is one of the best uh, vet hospitals in the country. So I'd say that I learned a lot from my mentors and I'm really grateful. After my adventure and learning, uh, learning experience with small animal, I also uh, decided 
to join and experience the corporate world. So I started my corporate journey with San Miguel Foods Inc. or SMFI as an animal production specialist for swine. Uh, also known at that time, mas kilala kasi siya pag sinabi mong Monterrey. Ayun. So I was an APS for more than three years, I guess. Ayun. Then I got pregnant, got married, and gave birth to a baby boy. So, alam niyo po, pag naging magulang ka na, pag naging nanay na, ang daming pagbabago, ang daming adjustments. So, I decided to temporarily give up my career to be a full-time mom. And there, I stayed home as a full-time mom for several months without giving up my veterinary dreams or ambitions. So, I went back to work. And tried several jobs as uh, technical sales, no? But nothing really clicked that I would say I really fell in love with. So I decided to try a pretty different hat <laughs> as a veterinary claims assessor for pet insurance. But um, no. <laughs> Being inside the office for nine long hours almost every day ay hindi po para sa akin. Kasi feeling ko nakakulong ako and I, I had the feeling or I had this need na kailangan ko lumabas sa kulungan na yon and explore the world as a veterinarian. I went back to research as an uh, aquaculturist under a research project of BIFAR. So almost every time I was doing field work, you know, flying to different places, looking for oysters or uh, talking to farmers kasi yung project namin ay about oyster depuration. So I'd say the physical fatigue and sacrifices being away from my family uh, were all worth it naman. And so there I worked in the lab, in the hospital, in swine farms, in poultry farms. I also worked in the office, in the um, research industry, sa lupa, sa tubig. And now I am with Rumi Nutrition Solutions. And yes, I'm falling in love again with uh, ruminants. And it brings back some childhood memories, my thesis days, and of course, rekindling some country dreams kasi lumaki po ako sa farm and I've always been a country girl I'd say uh, I love my job and I would like to believe that uh, by simply documenting and sharing with you the things that I learned and my experiences in the field would somehow uh, give you an idea of what's happening, uh, the actual, no, na nangyari sa mga farms, not just for the farmers, but also maybe for vet students para magkaroon din kayo ng idea uh, ano yung trabaho, ano yung ginagawa ng isang ruminant vet or country vet. Kasi sa Pilipinas, nahuhuli na kasi ang uh, ruminant industry. So, yun din yung adhikain ko na ipromote ang ruminant industry sa ating bansa at kahit paano ay makahabol sana tayo sa mga teknolohiya na ngayon ay ginagawa na po sa ibang bansa. So, ayun lang po. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig. Nice to meet you all. And I hope you will like, subscribe, and share yung mga future videos po natin. Nasa tingin natin ay uh, makakatulong sa ating mga kapo farmers and the whole industry. So, thank you so much. This is for God's greater, greater glory. And um, thank you. God bless us all. Please keep safe. Okay? Bye!